Humans are categorized into the five elements. The elements are in turn classified into the yin and the yang. Wood and fire are yang in nature, whilst metal and water are yin in nature. Earth is in between. Dry earth and fire inclination is considered yang, while the wet earth with water inclination is said to be yin. Having figured out the yin or yang nature of the five elements, you can deduce your own luck, placements of your bed, colors that work for you, and other small details in life for better luck. Unless your day master is extremely strong or extremely weak, which has to follow the exceptional rule of the special formation called Chong Ge or Zhuang Wang Ge, for close to 80 to 90 percent of the other Bazi charts, the main objective is to achieve balance in the right way. To prove this, I will use the birth chart of Editor Mui to explain. Born with a Bing Fire Day Master with a branches Shi combined with Mao, which forms two fire combinations, the strength of a Day Master is strong. Her time of birth is unknown, but given the year, month, and date of birth are sufficient to determine that her day master is strong as it is supported by two fire combination formations. Or in Chinese, Mao Xu Liu He, Mu Chong Huo Shi, Ri Yuan Bing Huo, Lai Yi Shen Wang. We can see that her first destiny trend, which was the Chao trend or Tong Xian, was of Ren water on top of the dry earth Xu. Thus, mainly the energy is dry, and this was rather detrimental to her already too hot day master of the Bing Fire. Editor Mui experienced much hardship in her early childhood. She was the youngest daughter in a family of four children. Editor's father died when she was very young. In some of her interviews, Editor mentions that she had little memory of her father, and the family were very poor. In Ba Zhi, Pian Cai or indirect wealth represents the father, and given her being fire day master, indirect wealth is the heavenly stem, Gen Jing or Gen Metal or earthy branch, Shen Metal or Di Zhi Shen, or in Chinese, Bing Huo Ru Shen Ren, Tian Gan Gen Jing He Di Zhi Shen Jing Wei Pian Cai, and true enough, we cannot observe any gun or shen metal within both her chart and the destiny trends through the years when she was alive. Thus explains why her father has passed away since she was very young. She had to help provide for her siblings at an early age. More hardships followed when the bar that her mother ran was destroyed by a fire. This proved once again that fire is an unfavorable element in her life. To earn a living, Anita entered the show business around the age of just four. She performed Chinese operas and pop songs in theaters and on the streets. She performed in practically any light club that offered them a chance to make a living. In the year 1982, it was a year with Ren Water heavily stamped, and that year was within the destiny trend of High Water or High Sui. With both the destiny trend and yearly heavenly stem make up of the water elements, it was a year very strong in the water elemental energy. Editor Mui competed in the first Liu Talent Singing Awards. In that year, Editor Mui got a big break by emerging as the champion, beating over 3,000 contestants. As a reward for winning the Liu Talent contest at the time, her first album was released with the local record company Capital Artists. Her best years are from late 1987 to 1992, which is within the trend of the Zi Water element. Interestingly, she was awarded the Go Songs Go Award, or in Cantonese, Gam Kok Gam in 1989 for the song Sunset Melody, Zi Yuan Zi Go which became one of her signature songs throughout her career. Sunset is a metaphor for the decrease in the energy of the being fire. Being fire represents the sun. Thus, we can see that once again the Ba Zi secret that she needed to have a weaker being fire day master is revealed. 
Within this positive destiny trend between late 1987 to 1992, a series of 28 consecutive concerts at the Coliseum was held and her popularity was gaining prominence outside of Hong Kong. And she was also invited to sing at the 1988 Summer Olympics opening ceremony in Seoul together with Janet Jackson. You may find out more on her success stories on the internet. She was named as the daughter of Hong Kong and is considered one of the most iconic canto pop singers in the history of Hong Kong. Her singing career was also established during the 7th Universal Period or Qi Yun, that is of the metal element which highly favored careers of singers and any form of career that uses verbal or linguistic abilities such as radio DJ. Given that metal elements represent the lungs and throat area and careers that leverage on the use of such organs, will tend to be more successful during this period. For your information, Qi Yun or the 7th Universal Trend was from 1984 to 2003. Unfortunately, her career came to an abrupt end in 2003 when she announced that she had cervical cancer. And this illness is often caused by a lack of water elements within the theories of Chinese medicine and also in Ba Zi. Thus, we can see that Chinese medicine and Ba Zi is also highly interrelated. Looking at her destiny trends, that's the exact year in which she entered into the Bing Fire trend, which is highly unbearable for her already strong Bing Fire Day Master. She died later that year at the age of 40. As mentioned before, the 7th Universal Trend or Qi Yun was from 1984 to 2003. The daughter of Hong Kong and the Queen of Canto Port also passed away in 2003. Could all this simply be just coincidences? I will let you be the judge. It was well known that Anita Mui did not share a good relationship with her mother and brother. In Ba Zi, mother is of the wood elements called Yin in Chinese and brother is Bi of the fire elements for her chart. As we know, wood and fire elements would further enhance the strength of her day master given that when wood burns, it creates more fire. Anita Mui's mother is a gambler and her brother is even more lazy and does not do business. Every time she does business, she owns millions of debts, which are paid by Anita. The reason why Anita Mui did not hand over her inheritance to her mother was because her mother was addicted to gambling and feared that her mother would have nothing to rely on after spending her inheritance. Therefore, we can see the importance of balancing the strength of our day master within our body trust and there are actually some logics and real-life implications behind Bazu theories. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up to encourage me to make more videos to teach astrology free of charge. Do share and subscribe and may blessings, happiness, prosperity and peace be contagious in your life.